Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Kung gusto mong mag-advanced learning mula first quarter hanggang fourth quarter, kompleto na yung topics natin, feel free to visit our playlist. Okay, let's get it started! Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 7 learners! Sa video na ito ay igaguide ko kayo at tutulungan ko kayo sa inyong learning task number 2, Evaluate the Algebraic Expressions. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung learning task 1, i-click nyo na lang sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin para masagutan ninyo yung learning task number 1 ninyo. Okay? Dito, let A equals positive 4, B equals negative 5, C equals 0 0.6, X equals negative 3, Y equals 0 0.4, Z equals 1 half. Okay? Ganito mga anak ha, bibigyan ko kayo ng tatlong bonus at yung dalawa ay kayo na ang bahalang mag-solve. Basta sundan na lang ninyo kung paano ko sinolve yung mga given. Para sa ganun ay subukan ninyong isolve yung mga nasa module ninyo. Kasi hindi naman pwedeng kokopihin nyo na lang yung sagot. Para ito sa mga nagre-request na sana hindi na lang palitan yung mga value kasi mas naguguluhan sila. Okay? And hopefully, mag-comment kayo sa baba para ma-up ang video na to para mapanood din ng ibang mga grade 7 students. Alright. Dito sa number 1, we have 3 times ABC plus BC minus A. So, sabi natin, hindi pwedeng i-add or i-subtract kapag dissimilar yung mga terms. Kaya, ang gagawin natin, isasubstitute natin yung mga given na values dito sa expression. Okay? So, magiging 3 times ang value ng A ay positive 4. Kuha lang kayo dito. Then, yung B naman is negative 5. And then, yung C naman is 0 0.6. Plus, may plus na tayo. Yung B is negative 5 times yung C is 0 0.6. Minus, ang A natin is positive 4. Okay. Bago pala tayo mag-proceed, i-review lang natin yung mga signs ninyo sa multiplication. Sa multiplication, pag pareho yung sign, ang gagamitin ninyo ay positive. So, pag pareho yung sign nila, positive yung sagot. Pag magkaiba, positive, negative, negative, positive, ang sagot is negative. Okay? So, ito yung guide natin. Sa addition naman, pag magkaiba ng sign, ang gagamitin ninyo ay isubtract ninyo. Pag magkapareho ng sign, ang gagawin ninyo, i-add ninyo at copy the sign. Okay? Pag magkaiba naman, copy the sign of the greater number. Uh, lagyan natin to ng bracket para may hiwalay natin. Unahin natin yung 3 times 4 that is equal to 12. And then, negative 5 times 0 0.6. So, that is negative 5 times 0 0.6. 6 times 5 equals 30. May isang decimal point, kaya lagyan natin ng decimal point. Negative at positive, kaya negative yung sagot. Or negative 3. Again, negative 5 times 0 0.6 equals negative 3. Alright? And then, plus negative 5 times 0 0.6 equals negative 3. 3 minus positive 4. Alright? Then, 12 times negative 3, that would be equal to negative 36. Kasi magkaiba sila ng sign, kaya negative 36. Plus negative 3 minus 4. Okay. So, MDAS rule tayo. MDAS rule tayo. Mauna yung addition bago yung subtraction. Meron tayong negative 36 plus negative 3. Kapag magkapareho, i-add natin, then copy their sign. So, 36 plus 3 equals 39. Ang sign nila is negative, kaya negative 39. 
nasundan, then minus 4. So, pag nagsusubtract naman tayo, ang gagawin natin ay keep natin ito, then change natin ito, change natin ito. Na ituro ko na ito sa first quarter, di ba? Yung addition rule at subtraction rule for integers. So, i-keep natin si negative 39. Change natin yung operation magiging plus. And then, yung 4, i-change natin magiging negative 4. Then, proceed na tayo sa addition rule. Kapag magkapareho na sila ng sign, i-add ninyo ito. Then, copy their sign. So, 39 plus 4 equals 43. Copy their sign that is negative, kaya negative 43, and this is now the final answer. Okay na, nasundan nyo. Next, dito naman sa number 2, we have BXY plus 5AB minus AY. So, ang B natin is negative 5, times ang X is negative 3, times ang Y natin is 0 0.4. Plus, 5 times ang A is 4, times ang B is negative 5. Minus, ang A is 4, times Y is 0 0.4. Okay? Then, simplify. 5 times 3, times 0 0.4, that would be equal to positive 6. Kasi negative times negative equals positive times positive equals positive 6. Plus, 5 times 4 equals 20, times negative 5 equals negative 100. Then, minus 4 times 0 0.4, 4 times 0 0.4 is equal to positive 1.6. Then, simplify na natin. Pag addition, magkaiba ng sign, then copy the sign of the greater number, subtract ninyo. So, magiging 94, then copy the sign of the greater number that is negative. 1.6. Kapag subtraction naman, ang gagawin ninyo, keep change change. I-keep natin si negative 94, change natin yung operation sa addition, change natin yung sign ni 1.6, magiging negative 1.6. Then, 94 plus negative 1.6, that would be equal to negative 95.6. Okay? So, this is now the final answer. Number 3, we have ABZ minus 8Z plus B. Ang A is 4 times ang B is negative 5 times ang Z is 1 half. Minus 8 times ang Z is 1 half plus negative 5. Simplify. 4 times negative 5 equals negative 20. Times 1 equals negative 20 pa rin. Then over 2. Kasi may denominator dito na 2. Minus 8 times 1 equals 8 over 2. Plus negative 5. Then, simplify negative 20 divided by 2 equals negative 10 minus 8 over 2 equals 4 plus negative 5. Next, from left to right tayo, negative 10 minus 4. So, keep change change kapag subtraction. Negative 10, change the operation magiging plus na ito. Changed 4 magiging negative 4 plus negative 5. Okay, so meron na tayong operation na ganyan. And addition na lahat and magkakapareho na sila lahat ng sign. So, ibig sabihin, pwede ninyong i-add lahat. 10 plus 4 equals 14 plus 5 equals 19. Then, copy their sign. So, that would be equal to negative 19. Again, ang ginawa ko dito from left to right. Okay? Ito lamang muna mga anak. Kung gusto ninyong panoorin yung 6 to 8, i-click nyo na lang sa end screen or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!